नमस्कार लॉकडाउन क्वारंटीन आइसोलेशन दीज वर्ड्स हैव बिकम हाउस होल्ड टर्म्स नाउ डेज बट कैन योग मेक अस इक्विप्ड टू डील विथ बोर्डम और लोनलीनेस which comes through these terms and experiences yes yoga has great potential before knowing as to how yoga can help you out rightly let us first see what is the definition of yoga shortest and probably the best definition of yoga is योग समाधि योग मीन समाधि इट मीन्स योग गिव्स यू टोटल इंटीग्रेशन मेंटल बॉडीली एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल देन व्हाट इज द इफेक्ट आउट ऑफ इट द इफेक्ट इज एब्सोल्यूट जॉय बट नाउ द वेरी प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन कम्स फोर्थ as to how we can have absolute joy by two ways one if you can make our awareness comprehensively total secondly if you can minimize our tensions almost to zero state then it is possible so awareness 100% and tensions almost zero this is the condition but how can we have it again it is quite simple you have to just accept everything as it comes to you but do not react and from your own self you should not do anything as simple as that but how can we have that it is very difficult to practice you would say hmm, i understand that for this very purpose our yoga masters in ancient days have created techniques known as kriya yoga techniques there are many kriya yoga techniques at least 79 techniques have been identified but before going into details of these kriya yoga techniques let us see what is kriya yoga kriya yoga means yoga of action it means you can actually do something and result is there for common man this is the only plank he or she can bank upon because the common man is not cut for meditative practices and this was understood by our sages long long back so they have created very simplified methods of meditation now these simplified methods of meditation amply would give you two things number 1 they actually weaken the very roots of all problems of your life sounds incredible <laughs> not at all secondly they would give you samadhi bhavana that is they give you some glimpses as to how to go towards absolute joy but before going into these kriya yoga practices it is necessary for us to have breathing awareness practices understood and practiced breathing awareness practice has got three different types number 1 just allow your eyes to get close as we have done in our video number 1 just allow your eyes to get close 
how you know it. Looking along the line drawn from the tip of the nose parallel to the ground, your eyes would become half closed. Blinking is allowed to happen as usual. Blinking is normal, natural. At the same time, you have to feel your body from within. Just have a general feel of the body from within. So blinking is natural. You are having a general feel of the body from within. Within a few seconds, you will notice you will feel a bit of relaxation. Now this relaxation goes into your eyes and your eyes start getting closed gradually or maybe suddenly. But in any case, you don't have to close your eyes with your own efforts. This is natural eye closure technique. And once it happens, now your job is just to be calm and quiet and observe your breath. Normally, there are three types of breathing patterns. Number one, your breathing may be slower. Well, if it is slower, it is okay. You can continue to feel slower breathing as it is. Sometimes your breath pattern is a bit faster one. Then you have to continue to feel faster breathing. Sometimes your breathing pattern is erratic one. So you have to continue to feel erratic breathing without making any changes in these patterns. So here is the point. Breathing awareness technique number one requires you to feel your breath whatever way it is flowing right at this moment, whether it is slow or faster or erratic. You have to simply feel it. Actually, you have to simply know it. Knowing is a very good word in yoga. Knowing. It means without analyzing, you are simply knowing, you are simply feeling. But if breath pattern changes on its own accord, then, then you should allow it to happen. But your own self, you should not make any attempt at changing your breath. Normally what happens, whenever we feel our breath is little faster, oh, we think heavens are falling and then we try to make it slow. No, please don't do that. And whenever we feel our breath is erratic one, like this, so you will feel, oh my God, this is something not so good because we have heard since our childhood that Erratic breathing is not good, slower is good. And therefore, we become perturbed. Mm -hmm. No, you have to continue to feel erratic breathing as it is. And if your breath is faster, quicker, well, same way, you have to continue to feel faster breathing. But see that you are not changing any pattern you are feeling right at this moment. But if changes happen automatically, well accept that and continue to feel that changed pattern of breathing. I think I am now clear. It means you are not doing anything. You simply feel as it is. I will give you some tips as to what would happen if you do so. Slowly and slowly you will notice that your breath pattern becomes slower 
and slower, not only slower and slower, but it would become full of awareness. So that would happen. But for that, please remember, your breath pattern may change on its own accord hundred times, no problem. But you don't have to change your breath pattern in any way. This is the condition. And therefore, just continue. Whatever breath pattern you have, continue with it. Just continue. Just continue. Changes are happening. Well, accept them and feel them. Continue with them, whether it is faster or uh, erratic or slower, your job is only to feel. But if these breathing patterns change on their own accord, well, start feeling those breath patterns. Yes, so this is the condition. The main point is you don't have to change your breath. The secondly, second point is you have to simply allow changes to happen and continue. Slowly you will notice your breath would become not only slow but full of awareness and this breath which is full of awareness will be used in pranayama whenever we speak about it. Alright, thank you very much. Namaskar.